Welcome to Character Limit Exceeded, the movie review segment where every word counts. Today we're talking about Midsummer, the folk horror sophomoric release from Ari Aster of Hereditary fame. Let's just do the thing. Let's pick, pick that stick. stick. All right. Some beans I have spilled. I the beans. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Hemingway six words. I got the book report, my book report. Let's do this. Oh I feel like you own that now. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah. Uh, that leaves me as the reigning champ of the chirp. 280 characters. Midsummer is a delightful family adventure filled with lighthearted laughs, mild suspense, and a positive message suitable for the whole family. Just kidding. You probably should see a different movie with the family. Ari Aster's follow-up to Hereditary had me sold since the moment I saw the trailer for the first time, to be honest. But I can gladly say it met every expectation I had set in my mind and managed to go beyond what I could have demanded. Visually, Aster manages to perfectly pair the picturesque views of this remote Swedish village with a number of chillingly gruesome practical effects. Being no stranger to gore, I found myself wincing more than once in the theater at these powerful scenes. Midsummer doesn't rely on the gore, but rather uses it as a tool to ground the narrative in reality. The gore makes the story flesh and blood. While we're on the subject of visuals, I would be absolutely remiss not to give Aster props for one of the most realistic depictions of a psychedelic trip that I have witnessed on screen. Thank you for that, Mr. Aster. If this story was a meal, a feeling of uneasiness would be the meat on the plate. From the first scene of the film to the climax, Aster manages to slowly twist your guts into a knot until that knot succumbs to the pressure and explodes. I highly suggest you muster up the courage to free fall headfirst into this one. The chip. It's a bear, it's a bear, it's a bear. Imagine walking in on your significant other while cheating on you. It's a bear. Now imagine seeing a lot of nude people around them chanting and cheering. Now imagine putting said significant other inside the skin of a freshly gutted bear and watching them burn alive. I give you Midsummer. The Hemingway. I don't know why you invited us. That's why you look so guilty right now, because you know. We only do this every 90 years. Imagine the village with an ending. In defense, the tree looked dry. 